All right, Shocking Miser fans, we're going to watch a movie from my old cable days. This one's called Frightmare. Let's check it out. George Bernard Shaw on the London stage before you were a gleam in your daddy's The director eye. is not impressed with him. I will not get excited. My blood pressure pills. Please. Well, the director chews him out because he's missing his mark. And Conrad doesn't take too kindly to that. <laughs> Conrad Ragsoff is a famous horror movie star from years past, like Christopher Lee. It's my great honor to introduce Mr. Conrad Ragsoff. But he is very famous. Conrad is not in very good health, and he's actually near death. Look closely, and you'll see Jeffrey Combs. Without me, you would be nothing! That's a director who's made many films with him. Good night, sweet prince of ham. Go to hell. But he's not quite dead yet. Straight to The director is said to have died of a heart attack, although we know better. And with Conrad's last dying breath, he decides to uh, rest in his coffin eternally. And he plays a video at his own funeral. Appearing before you today in a pre recorded tape, one of many I did before my untimely demise. You see, I didn't want anyone but me to star at my own funeral. So the local film students decide to uh, pay a visit to his crypt. That'll be a way to get in here. He's got a very big crypt in the cemetery. So they bust into the crypt through the skylight. There's Jeffrey Combs. If you have broken in, you probably will. Videos play on the inside, too. For at the end of the message, the door to the tomb will slam shut. They take a look at the body, of course, and then come up with another idea. Why don't we, uh, invite him home for dinner? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yep, they're going to take Conrad home with them. <laughs> One last party with the man. Hey, listen, it's very simple. I mean, the plan is we're just going to keep him here, right? Tonight. And uh, take him back in the morning. Uh, right? Right. 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 <laughs> you may remember Chuck Mitchell, Porky himself from the Porky's movies. Any sign of uh, cult activity? Like black candles? He's the police chief investigating the missing body. Conrad's widow summons a medium who summons Conrad. And 
hand. Uh oh. She gives Conrad directions on what to do. Darling, dearest. Where you left me? Where did you go? God! Wait! Into darkness. Then into flames. Then I came back. You brought me back. Just like that, Conrad rides off his back. One of the kids feels a little guilty, though. Who is this? It doesn't matter who I am. But them. The people who have your husband's body. What? What do you want? I want to help you, Mrs. Ragsaw. Well, and this kid heard a noise, he went to investigate, and runs right into Conrad. And Conrad steals his tongue. That's the girl he left. The girl is next, though, and she runs into Conrad outside. those kids to burn and that's what's gonna happen. I don't believe you. Shut up! More videos. Goodbye. See you soon. The side of the river <laughs> Just like that, I believe this guy's just a cemetery worker. He's gonna be overcome by the fumes. Finds Conrad's coffin, but no Conrad. But our coffin seems to be alive. Here we get death by coffin. Not a common way to die in a horror movie. And we've got ourselves a nice beheading. And this bird outside has itself a nice little meal. Take the body back finally. Conrad's pounding and pounding. She's got herself a plan though. So Meg is kind of passed out at this point in shock, and he says goodbye to her and packs up Conrad into the Film Society bus, take him back to the cemetery. Conrad wakes up, though, and 
stalks him in the cemetery. I always found this scene kind of funny. Faced with some sort of demon from hell, he whips out his knife and he's ready. But he's no match for Conrad. He manages to get him inside of a little coffin. Eventually gets back to his coffin, and his body gets pilfered by I believe that's the wife. And you thought you could take it with you? And that's the end of her. Turns out that wasn't the wife, it was somebody who knows the wife, though. One final video. Hell is not as bad as you think. It's actually quite pleasant. Maybe the food is a trifle overcooked in the Champagne, California, but you do meet the most interesting people. I hope in future you will show more respect for the dead, 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 dead. All right, let's talk about the movie Frightmare. Um, Vinegar Syndrome recently put this out, and man, did they clean this thing up. Um, I have a DVD of it that I bought several years ago, um, and it's not that great of a quality. I think it was better than a VHS tape, but not much. Uh, but Vinegar Syndrome, fantastic job here. They put a Blu-ray DVD combo here. The only bad thing about it is it's under the title The Horror Star, as opposed to Frightmare, which is the one everybody knows. I think it was released on Vestron Video on VHS back in the day, and that's how it was known then. Don't know where it was ever played as the horror star, but that's the print they have here. So be it, right? But it's still frightening to you and me, right? So anyway, uh, the movie itself, like I said, it's very cleaned up. It looks great. Blu-ray is fantastic looking. Um, pretty good deal here. Uh, and the movie itself has always been kind of a one that I always liked. Um, kind of nostalgic for me. It's one of the first movies I ever taped, probably within the first 30 movies I ever taped. I had it on a Sony tape with... Uh, uh, the Evil, I think, and was it the Devonsville Terror? I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, it was, it's a very early recording for me. Watched it several times on cable back in the mid-80s and um, seen it a few times over the years as well. I just uh, I think it's very well done, actually. Um, in terms of extras on this DVD, they actually there's a lot of extras on here. There's some, a couple of auto audio commentaries. There's one really interesting extra here, and that is an interview with the uh, director. His name is like Norman Thaddeus Vane. It's like an audio in interview. It was like done over the phone. And at the time this was done, he was like 83 years old. And the man has no filter. And he had a pretty storied career. I, he got to work with a lot of famous people. And like I said, there's some libelous stuff on here. He's talking about how he, he did this movie called Club Life with Dee Wallace and Tony Curtis. He said Tony Curtis was nice, but he was snorting coke all the time. Again, no filter. here. He just says whatever's on his mind. It's great. He, he badmouthed uh, Dee Wallace at one point, too. Talks about all kinds of stuff, and it's really weird. The interview plays while the movie is playing. It's kind of like an audio commentary, but they don't talk about the movie. It's just a phone call for like an hour and 20 minutes. You hear this one guy interviewing uh, the director. It's pretty cool, and he talks about his whole career, and they do mention Frightmare in there as well, so it's pretty darn interesting, actually. So check it out just for that, too. Uh, the DVD itself on Blu-ray here, I think I got this as one of the uh, Vinegar Syndrome sales. I think I made it pay about 15 bucks for it. Well worth it. Uh, like I said, it's got a DVD and Blu-ray in here, and it's just got reversible art and everything. So uh, it's a pretty good deal. Uh, I definitely recommend this movie. Uh, again, one nude scene in this movie. There was a brief breast, uh, some decent gore, uh, a decapitation from Jeffrey Combs, a pre-reanimator Jeffrey Combs. And uh, that's pretty much it. Ferdy Main played uh, Conrad Ragsoff. I think he's got almost like 300 credits on uh, IMDb, although it's not a lot of it that I recognize. I think he's Italian or something. So anyway, check it out. It's called A Fright Mirror. You can get this. Again, kudos to Vinegar Cinema. You did a fantastic job here. Highly recommend it. Go buy this. Check it out. Let me know what you think about it. Leave some comments down below. It's called Fright Mirror, a.k.a. The Horror Star. Watch it. Bye.